problem of drug addiction in the valley receives high profile attention. Today, drug czar Jim Carroll, along with Congressman Larry Bouchon, came to Terre Haute to drive home the seriousness of the problem in rural communities. Abigail Degler spoke with them about the focus of, of an open discussion. Abigail. Mike Carroll says oftentimes rural communities are hit the hardest. Our challenge is, and I mentioned this earlier, is to getting the general population to understand uh, how critical of an issue this is, and, and it's going to take entire communities to be engaged in the solutions to the problem. Congressman Larry Bashan says there's an assumption that rural communities are safe from the opioid crisis, but addiction does not discriminate by socioeconomic class, race, or religion. It just destroys families and communities. I think it's very critical to hear from people directly out in rural America about what's necessary and what's needed and what the federal government can do to help. Bouchon and White House Director of Drug Control Policy Jim Carroll were at an ISU roundtable to highlight the challenges faced by rural communities. We're not only making better citizens, better community members, we're saving our own families. And that's what people have to understand when they think about the disease of addiction. With a rise in opioid use across the country, addiction and recovery programs need to be discussed within communities. Everyone understands the value of keeping people out of jail for a, the disease of addiction and getting them the help that we need. That's how we're going to break the cycle of having people just rotate through the jail system. He says the federal government is doing everything they can to help with the ongoing epidemic, including looking into jail systems. Officials say the open discussion about addiction in rural areas is one of the easiest steps to bring more government attention to the crisis. All right, thank you, Abigail.